So in this next part, we're going to use Metabase, which is our uh, BI tool uh, for taking the data that we just managed in standard data. We aligned a couple things. We created a zip code to county um, merge file. Uh, we're going to take that. And we're going to join that with actual case data at the county level, uh, which is going to allow us to search by zip, which will tell us the county data that we can then build a risk assessment tool. And we're going to do all that in the next probably five to seven minutes. So let's we'll see if I can do it that quickly. So let's start by picking our data. Um, this is our county to zip merge file. Remember that? We created that just a few minutes ago. And let's preview that. I always like to preview to make sure I'm looking at the right data. Voila, zip, population, population density, FIPS code, which is uh, our, our unique identifier per county. It's not ours, actually. It's a standard. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to join that with actual case data that we pull in every night at the county level. And that's in a table that's called the county's new table. And in Metabase, we're doing this in uh, as a custom question. And we are going to, that's going to ask us, what are we going to join this on? How are we going to connect these two tables? Uh, so we're going to use FIPS code from the zip merge file, and we're going to use county ID, uh, which is uh, uh, how we call the FIPS code in our system. So let's preview that and make sure it works. Cool. All right. So these are the columns we just saw, FIPS, zip name, so on and so forth, and then all the actual case data per county uh, that is pulled in every night. So if we want to assess the risk level, we need to do a real simple math equation, which takes the seven day case average, you divide it by population, and you multiply it by 100,000. That gives you something called the case uh, uh, seven day case average per capita. It's a way of equalizing uh, disparate population zones. So you don't want to compare, say, Wyoming, which is, I think, the smallest state to California, which is the biggest state, you want to compare them by population and adjust for population. So that's what the per capita is doing. So to do that, so let's close that. Uh, we're going to do a custom column. And Metabase allows you to do some simple arithmetic, uh, some not so simple arithmetic as well. But we're going to do simple arithmetic here in this custom column. It's a really nice feature. And if you're an Excel person, you're totally familiar with what we're about to do. But this allows us to do it here in the BI tool. So I'm going to pick, um, we're going to pick the seven day average. Okay, so that's here, seven day case average. And we're going to divide by the population. Okay, which here, actually, we're going to pick the county population. And we're going to make sure we're doing our order of operations correctly. Remember that from fifth grade, or whatever that was, and we'll multiply by 100,000. Okay. So this takes the seven day case average, which we have in the county's table. We have the population also in the county's table, and we're gonna multiply it by 100,000. And we're gonna call this the risk level, okay? So now we're creating a new column called risk level, which is essentially doing this math problem for us. We're gonna hit done. So now we have custom column. We can preview that data and make sure it looks directionally correct. And we have this new column called risk level. So this tells us, remember that in the earlier video at the very beginning where we talked about the uh, risk matrix from green to red? Well, this, da this data looks pretty good um, in terms of what we're looking for. So now, okay, so now we've created, we've joined the two tables. We've created a custom column. Uh, now we want to do some filtering. So let's filter by zip code. Uh, let's do. 30303, okay, which is, oops, let's do that again, zip code 30303, okay. So now what we're doing, let's just add that filter and let's preview that, okay. Um, so now we have the zip code, which is, allows us to search, and that connects us to the county, which is Deca or Fulton, uh, which tells us uh, the FIPS code, which allows us to figure out how many cases have been in Fulton County over the last seven days, which tells us the risk level there is 29.51. Okay, so now we wanna build a really pretty um, gauge. It's called a gauge in Metabase. And to do that, we've gotta remove some columns. Uh, we don't need all the columns, uh, so we're gonna get rid of those. Okay, refresh this. Okay, now we've widowed down uh, the number of columns we have to work with. and. Let's click visualize, okay? 
So we're at the five minute mark. I think I can get this done in the next two. Click visualize. Whoops, visualization. And oh, I need to remove, actually, let's go back. Sorry. I need to remove these other columns because this is a metabase quirk. You only want the risk level. Okay, we want risk level. Okay. So there's our number, there's our risk level. Now we can go back and do the gauge. Okay. So what we're going to create is a gauge. And if you recall, zero to one is containment. And one to 10 is community spread. We're missing the orange, so we gotta add that. Click orange, and that is 10 to 25. And then red is 25 to 50. Okay, so now we have a gauge that tells us if we are between zero and one, we're in the green zone, right? Which is good. If we're between one and 10, we're in the yellow zone, which is community spread, not great. 10 to 25, things are getting out of hand. And anything over 25, uh-oh, we need to, do something about that. Again, this is all this data is designed to kind of paint a quick picture of what's happening in a specific zip code uh, in real time or near real time. This data that this, this is the actual risk level in Fulton County as of August 4th, 2021. So now we can take this in, in Metabase, we can publish this. Uh, we're gonna, let's call this uh, Fulton County, County uh, Risk Assessment, okay? Gonna save that and we can publish it. Okay, so we're gonna get a, a URL, a dedicated URL, and I can go to it at any time. I can embed this in a website, I can share this via email, I can uh, point people to it in Fulton County, they can come to this anytime, and the data in here will be refreshed every night uh, by standard data. Thanks again for tuning in to our data series, Data is Awesome, but Managing Data Still Sucks. Hopefully you found it useful to understand how we use standard data to line data up, gather data from all these disparate data sources, and then provide that data back to uh, stakeholders, the general public, whomever might actually need useful information to make timely decisions. Um, please like, subscribe, share, tell the world about standard data, uh, and if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see in a future video on data and data standardization, drop me a line. We'll talk soon. Thanks so much.